Hey, hey, it's the fairy, and the fan's blowing in the background because it's real hot. I am going to address uh, some, I've been getting a lot of messages about some of the testing that's going on with foam targets and field points, and I don't see anybody offering any kind of a reasonable explanation of the data you're seeing, which is constant penetration despite arrow mass into a foam target. It's got some great weaknesses, and some of the people doing this know what they're doing, and they're misleading the bow hunting world. So stay tuned. So you see a lot of people shooting gel foam targets generally with field points but even in broadhead gel testing just a couple of pictures you basically see equivalent penetration i mean you may have a mechanical penetrate that much further or something but it's not you don't have two pass-throughs with some broadhead that's brand x and then the other ones underperform they're all right about here now one thing about gel before we get to the foam when you shoot a gel block and leave an arrow in it, you've changed the gel. When you shoot it with five arrows and a sixth goes into it, the test is not the same as the first. So there's some major flaws when you see 10 or 12 arrows in it. It's not fair to the last four out of 12 as it was to the first two or three, or maybe the first two or three, I've not tested this and I'm not gonna do that because I don't care because they all penetrate about the same. But maybe the first three or four had a more resistant target and the last three or four of 12 had a completely different target. It was easier to penetrate. I do not know which way that goes. My assumption is when you add more projectiles into the target and it was this wide, you've now stiffened it because you've added you know, arrows into it and expanded. Each arrow's got some expansion to it. And I think the gel stiffens and it doesn't uh, give accurate results for the target, for the each progressive arrow as you shoot them. So realistically, if you're really gonna do one of those tests and this would be super expensive and a whole lot of labor, you'd shoot 12 individual brand new gel blocks and look at the results. I don't think it would matter, okay? But just know that every time you shoot the gel, whether you pull the arrow out or leave them in, the gel's changed. Like I said, I don't think you're gonna see a six inch difference and you're sure as hell not gonna see a lot of pass-throughs with any broadhead platform in a gel block. Some miraculous broadhead once again that passes through and keeps going. On the foam side, my greatest fear with a couple of the people testing this stuff, most of the people on YouTube who are shooting heavy and light arrows into foam, they really don't understand the results. And the question they should be asking is, why is it consistently repeatable? Why do I get 100% results? And that result is generally about half the arrow into the target. May not have a lot of physics background, etc. But one assumption is made, I'll make that point here in a minute. To some of the more advanced testers who have an agenda, they are absolutely not telling you the truth about what's going on. They know that the KE is basically about the same for all the aero platforms. They know that when they shoot field points into a foam target that's designed to stop arrows, they already know that all the arrows are gonna penetrate the same. The unfortunate part of this is they allow the assumption to run with the general bow hunting public that means when you shoot animals, you will see equivalent penetration. Broadheads don't matter. Arrow flight doesn't matter. Nothing matters. We're getting consistent penetration, about half an arrow. Here's a few pictures of that. And they all penetrate the same with a field point into a foam target. We've discussed this on a couple of podcasts. The target defines the test. 
whether you shoot car hoods or bricks or PVC pipes or whatever, the target has its own, the target has a vote <laughs> in the situation. There's a couple of things that just really bother me about this. One, um, a field point arrow into a foam target is not a broadhead tipped hunting arrow in a hunting situation. That's a huge problem. Second, how come we see 100% consistent results on every video like this? It doesn't matter who's shooting. There's hundreds of them. People saying, why does that happen? Why is it consistent result? But it doesn't matter because I'm about to ask you a question that should be significantly disruptive. And these people should be saying this, but they're not. How come when you watch hunting videos, you watch live animal hunting videos, elk, mule deer, whitetails, pigs, doesn't matter. Not me, just people hunting any video on earth, despite the arrow platform. How come we see inconsistent penetration on animals? When we see 100% consistent penetration approximately half the arrow in every test done like this on YouTube or any other platform. How come it's variable on the animals and it's not variable in the targets? The irresponsible lie that's being thrown out there is since all the arrows penetrate the same and the mass is different, then when you go hunting, you're gonna see exactly the same results. They don't clarify that. They don't say that. They don't say, well, this is a foam test. It's interesting that we only get half an arrow of penetration with all the different masses. That seems kind of weird. And it's unusual that it's so darn consistent. They never say, maybe the target matters. Maybe that's why it's so consistent, because targets are designed to stop arrows of all speeds and all weights. The manufacturers spend a lot of time doing this. If the arrows blow through and skip off in the woods, they, you don't buy their targets again and they don't stay in business. Second, how come we see more than half an arrow penetration in hunting situations? If the data in foam is correct, and you don't address, or these people don't address and say, well, you might have different results in animals, but in foam, we're seeing 100% consistent half an arrow penetration. How come in hunting situations with broadheads, you can literally watch millions of shots on YouTube or other platforms? You see wide and varied penetration depth. If the data from foam and field points is correct, it's 100% consistent. In fact, that's one of the things that, it's one of the hills they're willing to die on. It's always the same. Then when you were hunting with a hunting arrow, you would never see anything more than half an arrow of penetration but that is not addressed, nor is it said. Now these people are kind of predictable. <laughs> Two things about the testing they're doing, which just makes me laugh. Obviously, I was just laughing. Wasn't I? One, they're gonna bring out some trumped up report of some guy sitting in a water hole or sitting over a deer feeder or whatever, potting animals in a perfectly broadside situation with whatever arrow mechanical, fixed, but it won't be a heavy arrow, it'll be a light arrow. And they'll say, see, our data says only half an arrow of penetration, but when we put this guy in a water hole, shooting at animals, per standing perfectly still, at known distance out of a pip line, they were able to kill everything. And some of the arrows actually passed through. Now I wanna break some news to you. They're sitting on a branch, this mark, well, Samuel Clements, for those of you that are educated, said this, you're sawing the branch on the wrong side and sitting on the side that's gonna get cut off. 
if you're gonna die on the hill that says all the arrows with field points shooting in the foam penetrate exactly the same distance and then you're gonna post information in a hunting situation and any arrow penetrates beyond 13 inches the data from the foam and the field points is invalid it is invalidated by the new target and the new situation that you are you have presented and that proves right there that the target defines the test so the validation in a hunting situation if the if the results vary if one arrow went in 13 inches and another went 24 and hung on by the fletch and two of them passed through with exactly the same arrow platform, that should not happen if the foam and field point test is correct. It's a humongous problem. And the, probably the greatest thing that bothers me the most is we're misleading. We're, I'm not. It is 100% misleading the public who doesn't have time to think about this stuff or they have other skills they're accountants and mechanics linemen right plumbers and people who work or salespeople like me and we may not want to worry about that because our skill sets not to worry about this archery thing that much we just like to bow hunt and we want some good basic information but we're really good at our skill set maybe you're a great baseball coach you love coaching kids Whatever that is, we're all wide and varied in our skill sets. So when people who are supposed experts post tests and say, I've shot a thousand animals, never lost one, and I just kill them because I'm the best bow hunter ever. They believe you, expert. And then you post content that says, with all arrow masses, shooting into a foam target with field points, you only get half an arrow penetration. And you don't say, shooting animals, this may vary. You just leave it there. But you say, see, all this heavy arrow stuff is stupid, it's dumb, everything penetrates the same, which leads the public to believe that when they put a broadhead on, they get in a hunting situation, and they shoot a target that's much more variable than a foam target with field points, it makes people believe that they're gonna get equivalent penetration for arrow mass. It does not discuss what kind of broadheads on the front, how sharp they are, how durable they are. No discussion of arrow flight, shot placement, etc. It's just a hill you're willing to die on. That, since the penetration's equivalent on animals, penetration is going to be equivalent with a completely different aero platform. Despite what I said earlier, there are literally millions of shots on YouTube and other platforms, and you can watch the aero performance very widely. And I'm not talking about just mechanical versus fixed. I'm talking about arrows, just bow hunting. Sometimes they move, catch one in the shoulder, things happen, misjudge the range. Like there's errors that are made with all the aero platforms that could vary the penetration. But you don't say that. You don't say that. That in and of itself proves that the target defines the test. When you change from foam and everyone on YouTube is getting the same results, about half an arrow, no matter the mass, and then you switch over and start watching hunting shots, even your own experience. Think about the, if you've shot five or six animals, think about the penetration on all of them. Did you pass through every time? Did it vary? It does. It just is part of the game. But in foam with field points, the target makes the arrow only penetrate halfway. All right, well, that's all I got to say today. A little spicy, did some giggling. Y'all have a great day. Hey, subscribe if you want to. Probably gonna get some hate mail on this, that's fine. All I'm gonna ask you to think about is, why does the foam only have half an arrow penetration with every test you see on YouTube? And when you see arrows hitting animals, it varies widely. You can hate on me all you want, but you're gonna have to answer that question. And these knuckleheads that trump up these shots in Africa and call it a test. <laughs> Whatever, see ya.